What's going on my golden people? My name is Will and welcome back to PLC 85. What we do here is everything new with gaming, movies, anime and funny reaction videos. Today we're going to be reacting to Ryan George's pitch meeting, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and holy sh new Harry Potter game. We'll talk about that after enjoying this pitch meeting. Let's go. So you have a new Harry Potter for me? Yes, sir. Yes, I do. sir. So I Harry do. Harry Potter's at the Dursleys, <laughs> right? The abusive family that everybody knowingly sends right? back to every summer. That's the one. So he's in bed doing that Lumo spell over and over again. Isn't him doing magic outside of Hogwarts like forbidden? Yeah, I mean technically not a super important detail though. Okay. So then this not terrible aunt comes over and she's just the worst. I mean she's super mean and he accidentally turns her into a big floaty balloon. Oh, very satisfying. Yeah, but now Harry's got to go on the run because he did magic outside of school you can't do Wait a that second. But th you just started yeah. with him doing something <laughs> oh i did do that didn't i Oopsie. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, you silly goose you goose that's silly so anyway <laughs> then he takes this wacky convenience bus that wizards have and heads to the leaky cauldron oh, no. and what happens there well the minister of magic is like oh yeah don't worry about the magic stuff that's fine okay so harry gets some of his school books one of which is a book of monsters that's an actual monster <laughs> like it tries to bite you and it tears apart its own pages that's who would even publish that? I mean, sir, I feel like it's clear at this point that wizards have like zero consumer protection laws. That's a good point. So then Harry goes back to Hogwarts, <laughs> which this year has completely changed geographically. What? So then Dumbledore gives his annual opening speech, you know, about all yep. the different ways the kids might die this year. Oh, this guy freaking hates when kids are safe. He really does. So what does Voldemort have in store this year? Nothing. Oh, yeah, playing it laid back, giving everyone a year off this year. A very what? considerate dark wizard. You see, the threat this year <laughs> Here is this dangerous escaped convict Sirius Black. Oh. Yeah, and apparently he wants to kill Harry Potter, and he's the one who ratted out his parents to Voldemort. Sounds like it's pretty serious. He's decent looking, sure. That's not, never mind. <laughs> okay. So I guess they give Harry some extra security, huh? They don't, no. Of oh, course they don't. not, because uh, why would they have they, a bunch right? of these the horrible movie creatures happen. called Dementors all over the place, and they'll suck out your soul if you get too close, so they're very deadly. Yeah. So to stop a student from maybe being killed, they bring in a bunch of things that might kill students. That's what they're going with. Interesting Facts. strategy. <laughs> so throughout the year, Harry's gonna get to know the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, this guy, Professor Lupin. And what's his deal? Well, he I shows them this creature called him. the Boggart that takes the form of whatever you're the most afraid of. Oh. Yeah, so when he looks at it, he sees a full moon because he's secretly a werewolf. The guy with the name that basically means wolf in Latin is a werewolf. A real wacky coinkadink of a last name on that one, sir. Wow, wow, wow. 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 So the trick with oh, okay. the meeting of Bogart is to imagine <laughs> your fear yeah. doing something really funny. Like this one girl's afraid of a giant snake, so she thinks of a giant unblinking clown. Oh my god, oh. how is that better? Yeah, I don't know right. about that one, to be honest. Jeez. So anyway, eventually the Weasley twins give Harry this little map called the Marauder's Map. And what does that do? This is friggin' map of Hogwarts that shows you where everybody is. Okay. And then one day Harry sees this name on the map, Peter Pettigrew. But Lupin's like, that's impossible. That guy's dead. Oh, very mysterious. Yeah, very mysterious. And later a dog drags Ron under a tree. Is that related to the plot or is that just the thing that happens to Ron? Both, technically. So now <laughs> Harry and Hermione have to save him, but that tree is the Whomping Willow. Okay, now is that that Willow that, that whomps? whomps? That's the one, yeah. <laughs> I thought I so. So the Whomping Willow freaking picks up Hermione, sends her spinning around in the air like crazy. Uh oh. And then as she's whizzing on by, she picks up Harry with one arm and drags him along too. I feel like that would snap her <laughs> arm. Yeah, no, she's got like <laughs> super strength for this one scene, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, I won't. And then she launches him into this hole under the tree thanks to the superhuman coordination oh. she also has in this scene. Oh, tree holes are tight. Gross, sir. So then they end up in this house and okay. Sirius Black is there. Oh, no. And then Lupin pops out too and turns out they're buddies. Oh. And they're gonna talk super vaguely for a while to make it seem like they're evil and like they're gonna kill Harry, but they're not. Oh, characters love speaking vaguely right before big twists. They sure do, <laughs> sir. So then it turns out that Ron's rat, who was always on his lap, was a full-grown man named Peter Pettigrew, a.k.a. Wormtail, this whole time. Wormtail. Now that has just the most unsettling implications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Fred and George never wondered why on the Marauders map there was a guy named Peter in bed with the Wormtail. <laughs> <every night. laughs> <laughs> what is Wormtail's strategy? Just live with the Weasleys for 12 years in the hopes that the kids would become friends with important wizards? Sure seems that way. And what was Sirius's strategy? Just break into a heavily guarded school and kill the one guy who could clear oh. 
oh, his name. No. Sure seems that way. Well, okay then. So what happens with Wormtail? Oh, I totally well, he ends up escaping because Lupin forgot to take his full moon potion on a full moon, so he turns into a werewolf. The werewolf whose biggest fear is full moons forgot about the full moon? He does. And then also some Dementors start attacking, so right. Harry and Sirius are both like about to die. Oh man, it's going to be tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, Barely really? an inconvenience. Yeah, see, they use Hermione's time machine to go help themselves. What? Hermione has a time machine? Yeah, she was entrusted with this time turner device so she could double up on her classes and learn more. Why would they trust her? She's broken multiple rules multiple times over the past couple of movies. Yeah, but see, she's book smart, <laughs> so they give her the ability to, you know, mess with time itself. Wow, well, well, okay, itself. well, that's going to be a super Jesus helpful Christ. device moving forward. No, 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 no. But no, 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 <laughs> never again. Okay, but nope. All right. And so all that works out that's well, it. but Sirius gets captured because now that Wormtail's gone, there's nobody to prove his innocence. Can they maybe use a truth potion to prove what happened or do that thing where they pull memories out of people's heads? Oh, yeah, well, here's the thing about that. Shut up about that. Oh, that's <laughs> super mean. So they go break Sirius out of the little cell he's being kept in and set him free. Aren't there any guards or anything? No, see, they capture one of the most wanted criminals in the wizarding world and leave him in a little unguarded cell. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, it worked out fantastic. So how does the movie end? Well, Harry gets a very nice new broom and then we freeze frame on him enjoying it. What? Yeah, just an aggressive freeze frame Kinda on him enjoying it. Very, That's like a choice. It sure is, here, sir. So what do you think? Me. Well, it sounds like a great movie. So Thank you. One more thing, though. Unfortunately, we're going to have to find somebody new to play Dumbledore since Richard Harris passed away. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you have anyone in mind? Well, I don't know, but it's got to be someone who could bring his mysterious nature and great wisdom to the screen, you know? That's a good point, yeah. And that'll have to do until one day we cash in and give people the young, hot Dumbledore they really want. Why would anyone want to see that? I don't see that happening. Uh, Hi guys, Ryan uh, here. Thanks for watching that uh, pitch meeting. If you hadn't noticed, pitch meeting is now on its very own channel, so if you haven't subscribed yes. yet, that would help out a lot. And of course, you could also hit the like button and the notification button, or leave a 2,000 word button, comment button. about some Harry Potter detail I got wrong. And let me know facts, what pitches you'd like to facts. see next. Okay, bye. I gotta leave. My two favorite parts is when Hermione was swinging by the tree and grabbed him and didn't break him, break her arm. That was very funny. And the time traveling bit, like, uh, like, why would you not use that for the whole movie? Like, that could have solved all the problems. If they have this device, then this whole movie, this whole Harry Potter thing won't even be in existence. And speaking of Harry Potter, did you see that state of play? See that Harry Potter new game? Jeez, I'm about to start a video on that right now as we're speaking just gotta finish it up and then start my harry potter review for that i want to get an early gameplay i i need that game right now that looks amazing let me know in the comments what you think of this pitch meeting don't forget to drop a like guys if you need some more pitch meeting you can check out this video right here or you can hit this button down here to subscribe as always my name is will don't forget where there's a will there's a way stay golden my friends and thank you for watching